I'm gonna notice how short you are. Thank Look you. At I, this. I appreciate you. No, but like, stand up tall. I am. No, you're hunching. Stand. Look at that. First. This is what she does to me. <laughs> Hello! Welcome to another reading vlog. This is my first reading vlog since Vlogmas. It's now March 11th at 11.07 in the morning. I have not done a reading vlog because I've just been so busy with work. I've had 20 to 35 hour weeks for the past like three months, which is why your girl has not been doing a lot of reading. She's been doing a lot of audiobook listening, but I have not sat down and like actually read a book in so long. So this is my first week where I think I only have like 12 or 14 hours of work. So I can actually do some reading, actually you know, film and talk to you guys. So I asked you guys on Twitter if you wanted me to bring them back because I wasn't sure if like you guys were even interested, but the majority of you were like, hell yeah, so your girl's here now. But I guess we should probably do our reading update since it's a reading vlog. So if you guys are new to my reading vlogs, I usually have an audiobook going and a physical copy going at the same time. So my physical copy that I've been reading for the past like month and a bit because your girl doesn't got time, is The Beast Player. And this is by Nahoko Uhashi. I cannot say that. But I got asked to review this by two different publishers, so I've been slowly working my way through it. I'm 162 pages into it. It's real boring. Like, literally nothing is happening. It's about this 10-year-old named Ellen who gets separated from her mother, who was a Toda, which is like the water serpents that are part of the kingdom's army. They all end up dying. This is not a spoiler because it literally says it on the back of the book. They end up dying and she gets blamed for it, so she gets murdered by the Toda because that's like the punishment for it I guess. Ellen gets separated from her mom and then she discovers that she can actually talk to the Toda and then she can also talk to these like flying bird like things that protect the queen. Nothing's happening and it's really boring but I told two separate publishers that I would read it so you gotta get through it you know but yeah I'm not really enjoying it it's real slow and I'm like more than halfway through so you would think something would have happened by now but no. And then my audiobook for today, this week. I don't know how long it's going to take me because I haven't really been doing anything with my life because work, but it's Odd One Out by Nick Stone. This is like the advanced reader copy of it, so I don't have the pretty version of it. I'm really enjoying this. It's like a bisexual story. The guy is named Courtney and his best friend is Jupiter and then a girl named Ray comes to their neighborhood it's and then they all become friends and Ray is bisexual Courtney has a crush on Jupiter Jupiter has a crush on Ray and then Courtney also has a crush on Ray as well and then Ray likes both of them so it's just a big old party you know but so far I think I'm like 70 I'm 122 pages I'm a lot farther than I thought I was I really liked the narrator for Coop who is Courtney his last name is Cooper so they call him Coop I really liked his narrator right now I'm on like Ray's section of the book and I don't really like her narrator. She's kind of annoying. So I'm hoping I can get through that real quick and get to Jupiter. Hopefully I like Jupiter's narration, but that's where we're at so far. So plans for today. I have work at 445. I teach three basketball classes on Monday nights. The first two are six to eight year olds. The last one is a nine to 12 year old class. I am just really happy it's over. It's a lot to deal with because my 9 to 12 year olds are amazing. I love them. They listen and they're just like so ready to learn. 6 to 8 year olds, that's a whole nother story. You know, they're more interested in like playing with their friends and like not actually learning anything. They just want to like scream over you. So it's real frustrating. And then when you get parent complaints saying that my kids aren't learning anything, it's like, yeah, because your kids won't listen to me to learn anything. So back up, friend. Yeah, so I haven't really been enjoying my Mondays. But this is the last class and then I'm done. I don't have to do it. So we're here for that. And um, I think my mother and I are going to Talies, which is like our thrift store to drop off a lot of books that I'm getting rid of. So yeah, those are the plans so far, but I'll uh, see you guys in the car because we all know 
your girl always has some car content in these vlogs. The quality content everybody's been waiting for. <laughs> We're back in the car. Mom's being mean to me. Mom's. <laughs> you. <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, I'm we're stopping. Yeah. yeah. You were being a shit. This is what she's been like all morning. This is what I'm dealing with. <laughs> Look, we match. Oh, we're so cute. Can you drive? Can you stop? Can you go? Ma'am. <laughs> go. Help me. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going to go to Tilly's to drop off some stuff. That stuff. Books from her haul, unhaul. So many things. How many books did you do? Like 12? I don't know. It's a lot. A lot. They're all in bags. Three bags. Yeah. Three bags. And then, what are we doing? Going to the library so I can drop off my books. And then what? Oh, we'll probably go to lunch. Yeah! She's mean to me. And I still go to lunch with her. All right, signing off. See y'all later. <laughs> You're so Have funny. To I love when you tell jokes to my fans. Just kidding. I don't have any fans. They all like you better. Baby. Hey. Oh, so good. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. <laughs> We're making sponge toffee, which is literally just crunchy bars, but I don't think you guys have them, but they're literally just sponge toffee and it's delicious, but you have to stir this for a million trillion thousand years. To 300 degrees. And it's the stupidest thing ever because it takes forever and there's our candy thermometer and then you have to pour this baking soda into that and then it goes... What does it do? And then... It goes all fluffy and has holes in it and it's delicious, except we never make it properly, so it never works. A gurgling, mama. Is she gurgling? A gurgling. gurgling. No, she's gurgling. Let her gurgle. Oh, okay. Something. You didn't even get the baking soda ready. <laughs> Look, I did it. Oh, it's still bubbling. Ah, How much stirring have you done? Yeah, but it's the point that I'm not in my bed. Up Are you ready? Well, I can't hold this I'm, and I'm, do I'm, that at I'm the just... same time. Wow. It didn't work. It's now Tuesday, and I got a package from HarperCollins. I have no idea what it is, but I figured I would open it for you guys on camera just so we can have a little fun for this vlog. So there's just like a shit ton of bubble wrap, you know, for one tiny ass book. So that's good. The book is Sawkill Girls by Claire Legrand. I actually won this from the YA preview thingy for HTC Frenzy. During the event, like, Two weeks ago what whenever February 24th was honestly I don't do time I don't know but they had like a thing where if you like kept tweeting using their hashtag they would draw a random winner at the end and they win two books from their website so this is one that I chose because I've wanted it for so long and I just haven't found a copy of it so now your girl has it because I was the winner and then the other one that I picked from it was Sam J. Miller's new book that's coming out in like June, I think. It's called Destroy All Monsters, but I really liked his book, Art of Starving. So they talked about it during the presentation and I was like, need that. So I asked for that one and this one. So thank you so much to HTC Frenzy. I'm really excited to finally get to read Saw Kill Girls because I've been wanting it forever. I guess I can also update you on what's going on today. Um, was supposed to go meet my boyfriend's brother for coffee, but he ended up canceling, so that's not happening. My mom is currently at physio, so I'm all by myself waiting for her to come home. I've just been reading because basically, what else can I do? I am like 180 pages into the Beast Player now. Am I liking it yet? No, it's still really boring. Nothing has happened, but we're pushing through. I think I'm like 50%, maybe farther. I think farther. 
by now. And then I also listened to like one chapter of Odd One Out, so I'm like 140-ish pages into it. Yeah, 142 pages into this one. I'm still on Ray's chapters, so still not really caring for her, but hopefully I can uh, get past that part of the book and move on to Jupe's point of view, but yeah, so I'm just gonna go read until my mom comes home. It's 11.50 right now and she's not gonna be home until like 1, so. I'm all alone on my own. <laughs> Any quality content for my vlog? Provide Oreos. <laughs> Provide my quality content. And Christopher Robin, because we both haven't seen it. I'm kind of scared, though, to be honest. I heard it was really good. I did too, but like, I'm just so used to cartoon Winnie the Pooh. I don't know how I feel about real life Winnie the Pooh. I just beat the Winnie the Pooh level in Kingdom Hearts 2, so I'm like right into this right now. God, you're such a nerd. <laughs> so what did you think of the Karate Kid? It's stupid. How do you not like the Karate Kid? Hey, it was literally the stupidest movie ever. The only good part was the old man, cause he's me. <laughs> Every situation was just so stupid. <laughs> what did you think of the Karate Kid? Sad. You thought the Karate Kid was sad? No, I think you're sad for not liking the Karate Kid. Cause it's dumb. You don't want to watch Christopher Robin cause it's sad, it but looks, you watch fucking Karate stupid. Kid. Did you see Pooh's face? Okay, but Karate Kid was so much worse. Piglet had no stutter. Okay, but Karate Kid was Alan terrible. Alan Rabbit was British. The book is British. Who cares? The cartoon isn't. Everything we've grown up for for Winnie the Pooh isn't British. Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Eeyore, and, and Rue were all Engl like, not English. Um, mm -hmm. Like, American yeah. English. Yeah. I love when you talk smart. You were supposed to give me a massage, and I'm not getting a massage, so... Really? You say that now? Chop, chop, After the sir. movie's done? Yeah, you were too focused on your karate kid. <laughs> you were too focused. You were just making fun of the movie the whole time. The only so time you're actually paying bad. attention to a movie is when you hate it. <laughs> it was so bad. It's not bad. You're bad. Karate kid so bad. You're really mean to me. Mm. This is on film. I can prove it. I'm not being mean. This is like a fraction of what you do to me. <laughs> I'm an angel. Well, Are you bit. done yet? Just waiting for you to do something entertaining. It's one in the morning. I'm not entertaining at one in the morning. It's now Wednesday and I finished Odd One Out and I give it a four out of five stars. I really liked Jupe's perspectives. Coop and Jupe were my favorite. Ray can just... Bye. But yeah, I'm giving it a 4 out of 5 stars. I thought it was pretty good. And then I started my new audiobook for the week and it's The Boy Who Drew Monsters by Keith Donahue and it's about this like 10 year old boy who nearly drowned and then he starts like going to therapy and drawing and then the drawings that he does are of monsters and they can come to life like off the paper and they start like terrorizing people. I'm hoping that people are gonna die and there's gonna be a lot of stabby stabby murder murder so far has not happened I'm 85 pages into it the monsters are like just starting to show up so I'm hoping but it's kind of boring right now because it's like doing the backstory and all that and then <laughs> the update to the beast player um I did read 10 more pages so now I'm on 190 and I think there's like 300 and something in here 342 and I'm on 190 so <laughs> still boring as ever so it's going well plans for today my mom and I are going to Costco to get some food stuff which means I get french fries and then you guys get quality car content then I have work at 3 30 until 9 15 and then that's all for today so right now it's 10 42 we're not going to Costco for a while because it's too early killing my son that gave me the sweater shaver, which is the most satisfying thing ever. Okay, but my son. Look at him now, he's pretty. His poor booty. His butt is still gross. Look at his tail. It's pretty gross. <laughs> you know what? He's lived a good life. Well, he's been dropped in hair dye. He's been dropped in spaghetti, spaghetti sauce. <laughs>
So everybody, we're back in the car. Mom's being rude to me again, and then saying I'm what? the one being rude. What it's fine you though. Say to me it's fine though. So, <laughs> you told me that I was ugly. I never said ugly. What did you tell me to do with that? Post? Sucky suck suck. Yes. As opposed to saying what? Suck a dick. Because you. you're my mother. I'm yeah. censoring myself. <laughs> you're welcome. You raised me well. You said you were cold. Yeah. I said, I said you were dressed inappropriately. Okay, people, and sweater said, and pants. And, and she's like, and you're not dressed for the weather. But what do you want me to wear? What else can I wear? Underwear. Um, that's uncomfortable and uncalled for, thank you. And socks that go past your ankles. Okay, I'm not 80. Only 80 year olds wear knee high now socks. Now you've insulted all the seniors that watch your videos. <laughs> Sorry, seniors. It's called an edit button, mom. And, and edit what? Edit button. <laughs> I think you're so funny making fun of my speech impediment. This is you're why really, I have, have low confidence. You know, this <laughs> is why I have no self esteem. You. Oh, now you're giving me the silent treatment. This is what I put up with people. Oh. And that's how I got my foul language. Not true. <laughs> um, that was just proof right there. Are you telling me that I'm the only one that swears at you? Yes. That is a lie. You want to know how I learned to lie so well? You. <laughs> Why is that? Because you're a liar. That is a lie. You told me dad is my real dad. <laughs> but then daddy told me it was a mailman, so you're lying. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I know. Liar. It's now Thursday at 12.51 p.m. And my mom just left me to go drop my brother off at work, which means your girl has time to read, so your girl's gonna do that. Um, but I figured I would update you guys on the progress I made last night. I got to page 155 of The Boy Who Drew Monsters because I got to listen to like a bunch of it during work because I was setting up rooms all night. So got a big chunk of that done. Um, I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. Kind of bored, kind of intrigued at the same time because I feel like something huge is gonna happen. Not a lot has happened. There's been a lot of like, oh my god, there's a monster out at sea. Oh my god, what is it? Oh, we found some bones. It must be the monster, but monsters aren't real. So like, you know, the dreaded book of uh, the beast player. We're at page 212, so we are slowly making progress. I'm just trying to push through and make it through this uh, experience of this book. I'm gonna go meet my aunt's puppy. Well, he's not really a puppy. He's five years old, but I'm gonna call him a pupper. He was adopted by them like a couple days ago and she lives like five minutes away from me. So basically I just got a dog. Just want you all to know his name is Ruckus and I love him already, even though I haven't met him yet. But once my mom comes back from dropping Curtis off, then we're gonna go see him and I'm really excited. And then after I go see Ruckus, then I have work at 5.15 to 10.15. And those are pretty much the entire plans for the entire day. So your girl gonna go read, hopefully. We're gonna get through a big chunk of the Beast Player, but knowing me, I'm gonna get distracted by Twitter, so. I will not move. Thank you. Oh, yawn. <laughs> Hello. Ruckus. Hello. Oh, you're such a good boy. I kinda wonder, uh... You're hating the outside. There, I did something. I did the dad I thing. I'm... Go! <laughs> Get out! Wow. Goodbye. Hello. Hello. It's now Saturday. I uh, filmed absolutely nothing yesterday, so that yes. was... Went out with Carmen, who is Ricardo's brother, then went to see Ricardo, we went to go see Captain Marvel, so no reading was done, so sorry, no update on that. And uh, now, what are we doing, Mom? We're gonna go get my nails done, yeah, so I don't Show them your nails. No. Show them that. She looks like a crackhead. Show them. Show them your crack nails. Show them the crack nails! Look at that! How do you feel about that? <laughs> I feel really good now. I'm yeah. glad I put my sunglasses on so I could tell who I am. Look at my nails! Look at your crack nails. Oh, they're blank. But look, blank. I'm, I'm an Easter egg. That's my logic behind this color. So it's now Sunday at like 12 o'clock and yesterday was like no reading got done. But I've been reading all morning. So I am 
almost freaking done this thing. I'm on page 292 of the Beast Player out of 344, so the goal for today is to finish this freaking thing and then to have it out of my life and I don't have to deal with it anymore. And then I'm also almost done The Boy Who Drew Monsters. I'm 348 out of 272 pages of this one. So hopefully also going to be finishing that. But I don't have any plans at all whatsoever today. It's like a self-care day, you know, because your girl's mental health is not good right now. But I'm going to end the vlog now so that I can focus on this reading and getting this edited so I can get it up for today. So thank you all for joining me. Um, let me know if you want another reading vlog next week because I'm only working three out of seven days so let me know but I'll see you all in my next video goodbye <laughs>